Captain Marvel is finally in cinemas tomorrow. After all of the controversy, the Rotten Tomatoes, the white, everything, ugh. The movie's finally here, and we finally get to say, is it any good? Let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lethal. Apologies for the quality of this video. My camera is currently offline, so I'm using my phone. So apologies for the audio and the video quality. Hopefully it's, it's still a little bit watchable. Uh, so Brie Larson stars in Captain Marvel, aka Carol Danvers, uh, aka V lives on a planet uh, populated by Kree, who are kind of like the Green Lanterns without power rings, pretty much. And I did get that analogy from Jeremy John, so thank you, because that's exactly what I thought when I saw it. They're like space cops uh, with no moral code. Let's get right into the nut of it. This movie for me was meh. Um, I actually got rid of any expectations going in. Uh, I, I knew it was a Marvel movie, so I knew it would be formulaic, it would have their usual stamp, and it does. It has that definite phase one, phase two origin story stamp. What didn't work for me was, this is Marvel's first female-led superhero movie. So they've already been beaten by my girl, Wonder Woman. When Wonder Woman came out, just to give you an idea, Gal Gadot did not say, I don't want white men coming to the movie. So there was none, none of that. Um, and with this movie, the no man's land scene in Wonder Woman, I cried. People around me were crying. The cinema was shook. In this movie, there's no moment like that. There's no no man's land scene. There's no defining moment for this character. She pretty much starts the movie as a, you know, powerful superhero and ends the movie as a glowing powerful superhero. Uh, there was no journey for her character. It was very... She wakes up, you know, she's like amnesia rediscovering who she was on Earth, um, who she was as a human. Uh, and there is a side plot with her best friend and her best friend's daughter. Um, so the daughter and Carol have some really good mm. scenes together. There's definitely a bond there. Um, and they provided some good moments in the movie, emotionally wise, but it was all for the daughter, not for Carol. There was no... Like, there was just no massive character development. Um, the action scenes were fantastic. They, you know, typical Marvel stunts were amazing. Special effects are out of this world, literally. Um, there's one scene where she's literally flying through these ships and just, just like ripping them apart. And it's fantastic. It's amazing that it's just, that's the moment when I was like, Thanos is effed. He's gone. Um, overall, I think Brie Larson was charming in the first half. She's very quippy. So she's got the Downey Jr. vibe down. She's quippy. She's funny. She's smart. Um, and she gets this cool little, she has this like twinkle and smirk in her eye that I loved, um, when she's basically fighting with Jude Law at the start. And she just makes these little comments and she gets this little smirk and this like little cheeky thing in her eye. And for me, that was the defining moment of her character. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> um, there was nothing here that we haven't seen before. So that was disappointing. Uh, I feel like she's going to work in the Avengers really well, but uh, I, I'm... I just didn't connect with this movie. Um, there, it's very, and this is what my partner said at the end of the movie, it's Star Trek Discovery Marvel style. And it's true. And looking back on it now, I'm like, yeah, it's totally Star Trek Discovery for nerds. So if you like Star Trek Discovery, you'll probably love this movie because it's the same, similar vibes. 
Um, if you're worried about the feminism, look, there's some cringy ass dialogue in here. And I'm so grateful that Wonder Woman didn't stoop to that level. There's some lines like, you know why they call it a cockpit, right? And just, you know, I'm going to go higher, faster, stronger than all the men. And it's just a bit on the nose, to quote one of my friends. Hopefully you're watching. And that was disappointing because Wonder Woman was feminist without feeling the need to bash men. And this movie felt the need to bash men, and that was ultimately disappointing. I'm not butt hurt by that. I just found comparing the two, Wonder Woman was feminism because of the character, the core of the character. She was vulnerable. She was innocent. She was it stood for truth, hope, justice, freedom. And Captain Marvel stands for herself, I guess. Um, yeah, I just didn't connect with her as a character like I wanted to and I thought I was going to. So ultimately, it was disappointing for me. However, I still think you should see it. It's still a spectacle. It's still a great entry into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> it didn't all come together for me like I hoped it would. Um, so I would still give this film three out of five stars, personally. It's still worth seeing. If you're a Marvel fan, you're probably going to love it and froth over it. It has that Marvel humour that everyone seems to love. It has the silly popcorn kind of effect uh, that Marvel have really crafted and perfected. So go see it. It's out in cinemas tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and do more of these. Hopefully I'll have my proper camera back soon. Um, all fixed and ready to go so I could do more of this. If you are new here and you probably are, please hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know once you've seen it, what you've thought, because I wasn't a huge fan but I was in a cinema full of people who applauded at the end, who were cheering, laughing, guffawing. Um, someone next to me was talking to their friend when it finished and said, that was so much better than Black Panther. And I nearly punched them in the face. But anyway, that's just me. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.